हाय हायर फिजिक्स वी विल नाउ कंसीडर अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी यू आर गिवन अ ट्रंकेटेड सॉलिड कॉन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज क्वाइट यूजफुल at the entrance exam level okay so you are given a truncated solid cone this side has got a radius a the other side has got radius b it is a right circular cone you are given that length is l that is also given length means not the slanting length but the length all the way from here to here center to center length is l okay that's given as l you are supposed to find the resistance of the cone you are also given resistivity of the material of the cone as say rho suppose if it is made of uniform area of cross section you have one usual simple formula r is equal to rho into l by a this everybody knows for that the area of cross section should be uniform here the area is not uniform area increases from here to here uniformly and also it is given current density is uniform across the cross section perpendicular to the axis current density is uniform it's given okay now we'll see how to do this what we will do in sums like this and problems like this we will consider an element say here the element is so small the element is will uh, the element will be a circular disk because it is a solid cone the element will be a circular disk say at a distance x from o o is the center of the starting of the cone okay you will do like that this is x and the thickness of the element let's say dx first you find the resistance of the element the thickness is so small that you can neglect the change in area of cross section you take a very very small thickness for the element so for the thickness you can take the radius to be sorry for the for the element you can take the radius to be same say i consider this radius to be r either here or here you can take it as r thickness too small so for the element the resistance dr is rho into l is the length of the element along x meaning thickness of the element dx by area of the element area of the element means area of cross section of the element pi r squared okay say pi r squared but r i can directly write to be okay first you write pi r squared how do you find r of this you can see as you go all the way from o to this side you can even consider it as a b or something all the way when you go from o to b radius increases by an amount b minus a all the way when you go from o to b the radius increases from in a uniform way increases from a to b so how much will be the increase in radius as you go from o to this point or as you go a distance x along the axis so for a length l i'm going to find r the increase in radius is b minus a therefore that is length mean this much so for this much length for the x what will be the increase in radius this is increase in radius so if you want to find actual radius a plus the increase in radius plus a this only will be the radius starting from the radius a the increase will be b minus a by l into x so the actual radius r should be equal to a plus that this is only r therefore dr is equal to 
rho into dx by pi r squared b minus a by l into x plus a square. This is the resistance of the element. If you want to find the resistance of the complete cone integrate from 0 to l because x can vary from 0 to l. Uh, rho by pi constants you take outside this integration symbol. This plus 2 you know in the, de in the denominator you take this term to the numerator just for convenience. So b minus a by l into x plus a power minus 2 dx. Agreed? Now you have to integrate. It's a definite integral. <coughs> What you can do for integrating rho by pi, minus 2 is there, so b minus a by l into x plus a power minus 1 divide by minus 1, so that minus 1 I write as negative symbol here, then divide by b minus a by l, so l by b minus a here 0 to l. We will have to divide by the coefficient of x. You should know little bit of integration techniques for that. So this is the integration part of it. Uh, now this being definite integral l by b minus a being constant you can pull it outside. So I write here r is equal to minus rho by pi l in by b minus a then b minus a by l into x plus a power minus 1 0 to l power minus 1 0 to l or 1 by you can write it as 1 by Okay, I just continue here. First you put in place of x, put the upper limit. There is a minus symbol here, don't forget. So r is equal to minus rho by pi l by b minus a. Place of x you put l. 1 by b minus a by l into l plus a minus 1 by b minus a by l into 0 plus a because lower limit is 0. So minus rho by pi l by b minus a 1 by L, L will cancel minus A plus L, so 1 by B. Here this will vanish, so minus 1 by A. Therefore, minus rho by pi L by B minus A, this is A minus B, AB, right? This minus, you know, you can consider with this, take it as B minus A. This minus a minus b, so b minus a. That b minus a you cancel with this b minus a. So rho by pi l by a b. Therefore, the resistance of the conical conductor rho l by pi a b. Pi a b. So r is equal to rho l by pi a b. Suppose uh, you take a special case where a is equal to b. That means this will be a cylinder a equal to b. In that case your r would be equal to rho l by pi a squared or pi b squared which will be the area of cross section. The cross section being circular it will be the formula for the 
area of the circle. This is a special case. This we already know. Okay, so this is for uniform area of cross section. Understood that? Thank you.